Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt of Daytona Career Mode series. As always, we'll check out how we did last race, how the points look, and see where we're headed today. So Bristol was a bit of a rough one for us. We qualified 28th and came back 33rd. It was not a pretty race, but thankfully we didn't lose a ton of money, so could have been worse. And Mike Wallace leapfrogged us in the standings, but our goal is top 35. We've got that in the bag. Really, it's just about seeing how well we can do. And to finish off the month of August, we are headed to Darlington Raceway. Should be fun. We have upgraded the car a bit since the last time we went to Darlington, so I am hoping we can better that previous lap record and uh, maybe get a good finish here today. It only took a lap and a half to get into the wall already. Fantastic. And we found the limit again. Oh, come on, Dale. Still there. Car high. Yeah, go for it, Ward. Clear high. Oh, come on. Pick a lane. Still there. Clear low. Ooh, that hurt. There's a spin in turn four. Yep, yep, there is. Still there. Aw, oh, I knew I was going to catch the wall. You're all clear. So the car feels good. I really haven't had like a proper clean lap to lay down a good lap time, but I do think that we can definitely beat this previous best time. I just need some open track. And I need to drive better. That also would help. So we are definitely not fast, but the car is controllable, which is a big plus. Now there's a very high chance I get into the race, just like Bristol, and what I thought was fine in practice becomes so much worse. So who knows? That was just our best lap of the day. Oh, come on. Well, I'm going to qualify and hope it's not too bad. Oh, boy. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. We're fine. I thought that was going to be really bad. And I definitely would not have saved that if I was still using the steering wheel. This is not going to be a great lap, but at least we didn't crash. Alright, let's see where we play. I think without clipping the apron in one and two, we probably could have run a 31-1, but at least it wasn't a crash. Oh, 
All right, 21st. I don't think I'm gonna change the car. I think it's all right enough. Let's hope this race goes well. All right, Alan, tell us about Darlington. Welcome to NASCAR's oldest super speedway, Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. I'm Alan Bestwick, the lady in black, the granddaddy of them all, call it what you will, but Darlington is always one thing, a challenge. This unique mile and a third egg-shaped oval is well earned the nickname, the track too tough to tame. Based on pretty much every visit we've had here so far, it has been quite too tough for us to tame, but let's see what we can do today. So we've got 48 laps and only 14 to a tank. So this is going to be a lot of stops. All clear. Well, we got through a lap clean. Let's hope we can uh, get 47 more of those. We're already four tenths faster than our previous best lap ever. Like half a second better than qualifying. Is that Dave Blaney blowing up? Oh, come right, on. Clear. You. High. Clear high. I love this game. I love this game. I love this Car game. Low. I'm having fun. Car Things high. are great. Everything's fine. There's a spin in turn four. Car high. Everything's fine. Still there. Well, we went All from clear. a completely clean car three laps ago to every corner has damage now, so that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Still there. Stay high. Still there, all clear. Car low. All clear. At least we've kind of settled into a rhythm now. I think my plan is to try and save a couple laps of fuel because I can either break it up into four stints of 12 laps or try to do three stints of 16 laps. But with a 14 lap estimated tank, I don't know if we'll be able to make it that 16, but I sure am gonna try. Right front tire is pretty angry already. That's kind of expected, just the the way I drive, I am hard on every tire. So it looks like we've saved close to a lap of fuel now. I think there's a chance we can uh, try to make this work on two stops. Of course, that is assuming it runs green all the way through, which is not very likely, but we'll see. Stranger things have happened. 
we are running over a second off of our best lap earlier and I know some of that is me lifting early but these tires are definitely not what they were a few laps ago I do think we've settled in where we're at about the 22nd you know we're a spot behind where we qualified but we obviously had a little bit of hiccups <laughs> in those first couple laps but seems like we're we're rolling okay now oh yeah tire is angry sure my right front fender and stuff are angry now after that little kiss of the wall but it's fine I do wonder when people are gonna start pitting most of these games the AI are a lot more fuel efficient than you are especially before you get everything upgraded so I will not be surprised at all if uh, everybody's on the same strategy I think that's Mark Martin coming up to lap us already which is such a great sign. Such a great feeling. Carlo. Yep, go right ahead, bud. Thanks. He's gotta be pitting this time, right? The leader's going into the pit. Yep. So yeah, it looks like everybody is probably on about the same strategy we are. I have a feeling the pits are gonna be very busy coming up here real soon. Come on, get out of the way. All right, we are coming in this time. I'm sure we will have no problem at all. Oh, come on. I didn't know where the line was, but... Hey, I don't think we sped. <laughs> Could have been worse, I guess. See, it's crazy to me how many people that were behind us can run even another lap longer than we did. Like, I don't... I don't know how that math works, but... Oh well. I cannot believe we are all the way back in 41st. Like, I know we're gonna get some of these back, but I don't know how these people ran longer than I did. That would mean they ran 21 laps before pitting. Or 20 laps before pitting. And it said... It said a tank was supposed to get 14, so I don't know how in the world that works out, but whatever. Carlo. The yellow's out. Alrighty then. Yellow's out, so we are not gonna pit here. Pace car's out. And we will just wait to pit till we need to. Car high. Clear high. Try and let the tires cool down a bit because for some reason in this game, your tires don't cool while you are under caution. Another brilliant, brilliant thing. The pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. See what I was talking about? Our tires were still at 223 and then suddenly start dropping. Like, it's just silly. Still there. So. All clear. I didn't pit that time around just because I knew we'd have to pit at least once more either way. All clear. Clear high. Car low. So my goal here, I'm just going to run as hard as I can 
and then pit just one more time. So we got 23 to go. Still there, clear low. If I have eight laps of fuel, I might as well just run hard until that eight laps is out and then pit again and then run hard again. Oh, this is such a mess. Still there. Oh, he's fine. Everything's fine. Still there. Car high. Guys, what? Car low. Pace cars out. There's a spin in turn two. The yellow's out. Fantastic. I didn't realize how many <laughs> wrecked cars there would be just in the middle of the road. I love this game. Twenty to go. Yeah, we're gonna pit. I am very interested to see how many laps we have to go when we actually go green and uh how long we can make it. The pace car is off. The pace car is off. I don't think we're caught up very well. It says 17 laps to go, but assuming we're a lap down, that'd be 16 laps to go. And I think we made it 16 laps on the first tank, so. I think we're good. Oh, give me the green. The green yeah. Flag. Let's go. There's a wreck in turn four. Is there? The out. Car high. Are you kidding me? Clear high. Still there. Car high. Eight cars out. Oh, we're fine. Everything is three. fine. All clear. Yep, everything's fine. Pace cars off. Get set. The race is going green. I love when this happens. There's the green flag. They're all clear. Car low. On the not so bright side, we are three laps short. Stay high. Still there. All clear. Car low. We're gonna be fine though. Everything's fine. Stay low, still there. All clear. Yep, he's fine. Car low. Everything is fine. Car high. Give me the draft. Oh, he's so fast. Ten laps to go. Car low. Alright, we're only two laps short on Car fuel. High. I think we got it. Clear high. I'm not even gonna look anymore at the fuel we're gonna make it or we aren't <laughs> me staring is not gonna help i'll take a bump draft no okay that was not on purpose there's a wreck in turn three 
Mm, it's probably fine. Car high. All clear. Neptune. He's fine. Car high. Didn't Dave Blaney blow a motor earlier? What in the world is he doing out here again? Car low. Five laps to go. So it looks like we're a little over two and a half seconds ahead of 18, which of course is the guy one spot ahead of us in the points. So, you know, it'd be nice if we could uh, put some distance on him, but you know, it seems like that's how it always happens. The person you're fighting with in the points is always either right behind you or way in front of you. But I think Mark Martin just pit the last, uh, last time around no save that buddy oh he ooh i saw a flip in my mirror he did not save that oh man just keep it green just keep it green with mark martin pitting i wonder if anyone else is gonna have to pit that will be interesting if uh, we get some spots back because of that, but I can't imagine we would. Two to go. It hasn't said low fuel yet, so I think we're fine. Oh yeah, we're totally fine. We're coming to the light. Who blew motor? Carlo. Last lap. Newman. Hey, that's a spot. So we're back up into 15th. Let's go. Look at that, we still had at least an entire lap of fuel left. Man, after... That's worth keep going. Whew, after how bad Bristol was, I was worried, but... Not too shabby, top 15. We got another top 15 on the year. Nice little chunk of points we got there. Let's see if we made some money. I... Did not expect for $125,000 to be what we made. I thought we might make a little bit, but very happy with that. I think we can grab that upgrade now. And the race results, we qualified in 21st. We were able to hop up a few spots and finish 15th. That keeps us at 24th in the season standings, but we have inched a little bit closer to Mike Wallace. so. I think we might get him. We might even make it up to 22nd, 21st before the year's over, but we'll see. So that puts us over the $870,000 mark. I think it's time to grab that upgrade we were talking about a couple episodes ago. So with the wind tunnel stage two aerodynamic upgrade, our front downforce goes up by six clicks. Our rear downforce goes up by six clicks. We drop seven clicks of drag and we lose 70 pounds on the car. So pretty excited for this one. And with that, we've still got $179,000 left. So 
We aren't completely broke. <laughs> That's a big plus. So at this point, an upgraded engine is really the only thing we're gonna be looking for. Unfortunately, those cost quite a bit of money, just based on you know how the the tiers change. The nine hundred eighty thousand dollar motor lacks durability. We need durability, so we're looking at one point two to one point seven million before we have any sort of engine upgrade. So. We're going to be saving for a little while. And that is going to bring us to the end of another episode. I just want to say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment if you've got anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. Hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.